The south coast of Australia has been abuzz with an unusual influx of sea snakes this week. These highly venomous reptiles are typically found in the open ocean, but recent warm currents have brought them closer to shore. While their presence might seem alarming, these fascinating creatures are actually quite shy and rarely interact with humans. The yellow-bellied sea snake is the most common type of sea snake found in Australian waters. They are known for their distinctive black and yellow markings, and their slender, paddle-shaped tails. These snakes are incredibly well adapted to life in the ocean, with adaptations that allow them to breathe underwater, drink rainwater from the surface, and even eat small fish. Belinda Donovan, a wildlife veterinary nurse, has been treating these washed-up snakes at her Mudgeru Emu Farm and Animal Refuge. She believes that an unusually warm ocean current has swept a colony of snakes southward, leading to their stranding on beaches. The plight of these sea snakes is a stark reminder of the delicate balance of our marine ecosystems. When ocean currents shift, it can have a profound impact on the lives of marine creatures, even those as resilient as sea snakes. It's important to remember that sea snakes are wild animals, and we should treat them with respect. Despite their venomous nature, sea snakes are not a threat to humans. They are very shy and only bite if they feel threatened. In fact, there has only been one recorded death from a sea snake bite in Australia. If you see a sea snake on the beach, it's important to keep your distance and call the Australian Seabird and Turtle Rescue Hotline on 0431 282 238. Do not try to handle the snake yourself, as you could be bitten. Sea snakes are an important part of the marine ecosystem, and we need to do everything we can to protect them. The story of the washed-up sea snakes highlights the importance of understanding and protecting our marine ecosystems. By learning more about these fascinating creatures, we can better appreciate their role in the delicate balance of nature.